Hey guys, um, I've got some rust um, on the body hangers, uh, basically where the jacks um, uh, insert into the body and uh, you're able to jack the vehicle up. Um, in the wheel well, the front wheel wells especially, um, it's really spongy and soft so I uh, took a hammer and started chiseling away some of the, the corroded metal. Um, it's a good thing too because uh, it's you know it's pretty crummy stuff especially on this bus but um, I'm gonna be replacing it and moving those hangers back further um, because I have some pretty oversized tires and they were rubbing anyway so as I was kind of hammering for clearance I kind of noticed uh, when some of the um, original VW body filler type material um, kind of crumbled away after 40 years. The metal um, is just, you know, shot. There's nothing really good left, so I'm going to cut all that out and weld in some uh, thicker uh, rectangular uh, steel tubing. And that'll be a platform that you can jack from, as well as put some uh, side skids on as well. This is definitely more of like a Baja rig than, than a show rig, so I'm not concerned in the least with doing this so if you're trying to restore a bus this probably isn't a good method but whatever this one is this one is not that so um, this one's more of a hot rod Baja bug kind of throw the surfboards in throw the camping gear in go climb a mountain kind of rig so I uh, I'll walk you through what I'm about to do here so here's what I mean um, there's like some body filler stuff that VW puts right here and I can show you on the other side the other side's better than this 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 side is still rotten but um, uh, Essentially I was kind of hammering the stuff stuff out just a little bit. It's rubbing pretty heavily right in here um, so as I was doing that this You can see this metal is just so so gnarly. You can just kind of twist it off crazy so I'm going to be cutting this entire segment out and replacing it with just rectangular steel and I'm actually going to move it back probably an inch and uh, it's going to be great so follow along as we as I get that going all right so got the uh, rotten metal cut out and everything uh, kind of uh, paint free and ready for at least a few tack welds to make sure everything fits okay. Um, this is actually the steel I'm going to end up using. It's just rectangular tubing. Um, you know, it's it's a fairly thick wall. Uh, I think it's about an eighth. And um, I'm actually going to be cutting diagonally here, mimicking the uh, existing uh, or the you know the factory setup, but um, just out of thicker material, which I'll tack weld all the way around, and then also it'll uh, actually allow me to move uh, this setup back slightly, so um, about a half inch or an inch, which is perfect to clear these huge tires. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start prepping the metal and uh, maybe even tack it in place. Okay, well, I uh, went ahead and tacked the uh, support in place and what I'm going to do is uh, actually uh, go driving around, test some clearances real quick just to make sure this is actually going to uh, benefit the wheel, uh, wheel clearance. Alright, well we're turned at pretty full lock and uh, up on a uh, inclined here with this wheel up and looks like uh, there's plenty of clearance now usually it rubs when I do this pretty pretty hard so I think we're good and here we have the metal welded into place and I actually uh, siliconed up this the seams um, I think it turned out pretty well um, you know it's Silicone is never like awesome, <laughs> but it definitely keeps the mud and road grime out of the um, cracks and stuff um, to hopefully prevent further rusting. 
Um, so all the metal is now now good. It's really nice. My tires don't rub, which is a huge benefit. One of the major benefits here. And if we come underneath, we can see, um, you know, it's super solid. So you'd definitely be able to jack from right in this area. Um, so I'm pretty stoked with how it turned out. I'm still probably going to clean up. Looks like there's little little dongles still hanging down. <laughs> but thanks for watching and uh keep tuned for next week. Uh we'll bring something else crazy to you. <laughs> Take care.